Tonight, a warning. After a group of people steal several side-by-side -side UTVs, some trailers, and a truck. That theft happened in just a matter of hours, and it covered several homes in Lehigh. Yeah, and that's where new specialist Matt Rascone is tonight with more from the owners. Yeah, we're talking about tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff, and it all happened in an unsuspecting neighborhood in Lehigh in the early morning hours of Friday the 13th. On the quiet streets of Lehigh. Our neighborhood's super safe. Where everything seems in place. I would say it's very organized. It's hard to imagine so much going missing. These guys are professionals. Within blocks of each other. They had to have been scoping out the neighborhood for, for a while. And all in one night. Where's your truck? And I'm like, what do you mean, where's my truck? Piecing together surveillance, police learned Katie Fitzgerald's stolen truck didn't go far. I was awake when it happened. It went to Melissa Robinson's home and drove off with her 27-foot trailer full of belongings. We lost a lot of stuff. All my husband's uniforms from the Marines. Dozens of boxes are still missing. But Lehigh workers found some dumped in a nearby canal, including a grandfather's saddle he got after World War II and a flag that flew over a rock during a combat mission. It takes a, a really special kind of person to do that. Belongings that were dumped likely to make room for Matt Worthington's four-seater side-by-side. Well, a little violated. I mean, it, 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 at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, can't change it. One of his neighbor's razors was also stolen, and police say the same group stole a flatbed with two more side-by-side -side vehicles nearby. It's just heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. It's possible the truck and trailer and suspects were spotted in Wyoming. I sure hope so, and I hope they get they get nailed to the wall. But even without their belongings back, they hope the neighborhood gets the message. Just be aware and watchful for your neighbors. A lot of big pricey items in there, but arguably the most valuable were personal items like her husband's marine uniforms. And there's really no hope that they're going to be getting it back. Matt Rascone, KSL 5 News.